What's up guys and girls, it's Hashir Dihami back again with another short tutorial for auto layout series and in this one we are going to see how we can design these accordions in Figma using the auto layout and of course Smart Animate. Uh, in fact in this specific tutorial we cover all the major features of Figma that is auto layout, Smart Animate and then the components and their variants because without them we can't do that. Okay, so let's jump in. All right, so this is the ready screen. We are going to make it from scratch. So first of all, we need two headers. Uh, one header would be the one where the accordion is opened and the other one would be where it is collapsed. So I'm just going to grab the text so I don't have to hmm, write it all over again. But I think I would have to because you are not getting it. This channel is awesome. <laughs> I'm going to just type lorem ipsum right here and uh, select both of these press shift a give them a 16 pixels of padding oh actually this is the letter spacing uh, we need the padding from here okay now for the background color I'm going to pick this and it's done now what we need is a text beneath that when the accordion is opened and what I'm going to do is I'm going to grab this text because I can't type that much text in in our short tutorial and give it an auto layout frame and again give it 16 padding on each side as well grab them both actually I'm going to fill this one real quick with the same color as the header you can change the color of course that's on your end I'm just showing you how to you know combine these all features to make your accordion so I'm going to grab both of these press shift a okay that's interesting I don't want this that way I just want it uh, on the top left alignment and uh, no spacing between them and what now I'm going to do I'm going to grab both of these and go to here and press fill container. Now we have a flexible auto layout frame where I can, you know, increase the width of this auto layout frame and the uh, inside content would be adjusted itself. But you can see that the text here is not adjusting because we haven't defined the constraints here. So I'm going to select the text. I'm going to go here and going to select fill container and you can see it is ready. So if I do this now you can see the text is also adjusting itself so perfect now we need this borderline so I'm going to select this go to stroke right over here go to bottom and I think it's 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 awesome okay so this is done now what I'm gonna do is I'm going to grab this one out and define okay I, I'm gonna delete this Okay, so I'm going to define it as a component, name it accordion. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to add a new variant because the other one would be the collapsed version. And in the collapsed version, we don't need this. So what I'm going to do is select this and press delete. Now, the text is going to be same, but this arrow needs to be something like this again it's up to you guys you can use plus minus here you can also just remove the icon and you know do whatever you want I'm just explaining how to you know combine all these features to make your accordion functional okay so I think it's done so all we need is to link them uh, using the prototype tool so what I'm gonna do is select this and go to prototype right now I'm just using the whole uh, header as a trigger so I'm going to link it with the open version and uh, I'm going to select smart animate on click yep it's perfect and again for the same one I'm going to select this and select the collapsed version on click smart animate perfect okay so one more thing you might want to do is if you are someone that has an OCD so you might want to select the open version and go over here and you know put in some property that can make things organized or easier for you so what I do usually is I type opened and yes or you can just say collapsed yes and this one is collapsed no okay by doing this 
in your design if you go over here and you know use it you have this toggle button right here that can you know use it uh, that's not going to be incorporated in your prototype that's just for your own ease that you are presenting some accordions in your design and you might want to open this uh, you know display an accordion in it open version or in its uh, collapsed version then you can use this toggle that can you know that is just replacing these two variants using that toggle so that is really a cool tip and I have a video on it too so yeah let's continue I'm gonna copy this delete this copy this paste in my Q as hell screen go to design back yep and then uh, you know duplicate this one and grab both of these and press shift a so it's again it's up to you how much spacing do you need I'm gonna specify 24 pixels here and grab the other one and press command D command D command D or control D on Windows and now we have a lot of accordions right here one last thing would be right now you can see that these are not adjusting themselves so I'm going to select all of these layers and one really quick tip here if you want to select all the frames inside that specific frame you just have to select the main frame once and press enter and that would select Figma would actually select all the frames inside that frame itself so I'm going to select all of these and press fill container so now you can see that the accordions inside that frame are adjusting themselves which is the basic need of the auto layout and that is done so I think it should work let's see <laughs> cool right so yeah that's it for this tutorial one easy explanation uh, why did I grab these all into one auto layout frame so the reason behind is that when you click this right here what it does is it introduces the other variant that you had defined here and it pushes all the other frames along the line so that is a really important thing to remember because if you don't have all of these accordions into one auto layout frame something like this is going to happen and we don't need that what is what it's doing right now is it is actually just pushing the opened version behind the other frames or other objects that are present in your screen so we don't need that so it's important to put all of these inside a single frame and then play with it so yeah that's all make sure you subscribe to the channel for all these cool and easy techniques for auto layout components variants and smart animate and cheers guys see you in the next one